Don't forget to get behind the stormtrooper, man. Yep. Let's see if this laundry's done here. Get some stuff caught up today. Throw this stuff in the dryer. What the heck? What the heck is that noise? Dude! Dude, what's up with that? Whoa! Well, what's up with that vacuum? It's been like that for months, I've been, been telling you. That's it's, really... It's gonna, it's gonna catch on fire now. That did not sound good at all. No, no, it's a, it's a Oof. You know what? I have had this vac. Oh, man. It smells like it's burning, too. Oh. I had this vacuum a long time, man. I bought this, like, before you were ever even born. You know that? It's a great vacuum, yeah, but... It's 16 years old. Yeah. Well, maybe it's time for a new one, huh? I think, I think so. Well, actually, I kind of surprised you. I don't want to tell you. I knew this was having issues, but I decided to actually... I got a new one. I went back to Simplicity and I talked to the guy there. That I, same place I bought this one like 16 something years ago. Check this out, dude. Oh. I got an awesome new one. Uh, you got the stick vac, Simplicity stick vac. I got the Simplicity Premier stick vac because I know that we were kind of tired of the cord. We got a ranch, real long house, you know? So that's not oh and it's it's the one that you just plug you uh put the battery in and it just goes around. It has batteries, it's a stick vac, but it's supposed to be one of the best ones. And you just don't stop, that's nice. So I figured, you know what? Let's open this baby up, let's do an unboxing, let's check it out. And uh actually I'm gonna take everybody to the store with me real quick just to kind of show them where I got this. Because the guy's been there forever, and you know we like to promote the local people and the local shops. So I actually got this a couple weeks ago. Let me go over there and uh, we'll come back and do an unboxing on this bad boy. All right, guys, so here's the deal. What I did is I came over here to the same place that I bought that Simplicity well over 15 years ago. I don't even remember. It was way before Jack was ever born. I came to a place called, lo uh, fo a local place called Forest Discount Vacuum. And this gentleman has been doing this for 48 years, been repairing vacuums. You can tell he's just got a small little shop here. This is right on Lorraine Road. And if you've never seen that little video we did um, showing the aquarium aquatic dreams, he's actually right down the street from this guy. This guy really specializes in simplicity vacuums. And simplicity is one of those vacuums you're only gonna find at a vacuum store or online. But if you buy it online direct, you're not gonna get as good of a deal as if you come to a guy like him because he has that buying power. That simplicity was quite a few years old. I bought it for only a couple hundred bucks. And I know Jack loves vacuuming and keeping clean. And I like that he likes to do it because then I don't have to do it. And he's, of course, he's very helpful and everything all the time. So I'm surprising him by getting him this vacuum. Now this uh, gentleman, he's not really interested in being in a video, but it is very early in the day. I actually just dropped Jack off at school. And I'm gonna go in here and just give you guys a quick little look around and show you the vacuum that I got for us. And it is really cool. So check this out, guys. So in here, basically what all of these vacuums are right here are all people who bought vacuums, either at a big box store or online or whatever, and they broke. And so each one of these is in order. And that's only half of them. The other half are over here. And this gentleman repairs all of these things. Now, this is really cool, too. This is like a collection of some antique vacuums and things like that. So, basically, what we have here is we have a lot of these very popular type of Dysums and those type of vacuums. And these types of vacuums are quite expensive. And he said it's one of the vacuums that need repaired more than any other vacuum just about. And they're not cheap to repair. The other thing is they're quite a bit more expensive than Simplicity. Now, these are all corded. This is the vacuum that we're getting. We're getting a stick vacuum. Now, he did suggest that this not be our only house vacuum, but we're going to kind of try it out to see how it works. You can use it as a stick. You can use it on dry land. You can use it for tons of different things. This was 500 bucks. 
Now, again, online, it is a little more expensive. You can get a little bit more of a discount coming through a vendor like this. Now, a comparable Dyson that would be battery powered and completely cordless, he said, would run probably more expensive, close to six or seven hundred dollars. And they only come with one battery. This Simplicity S65P comes with two batteries, one complete battery backup. Now, these lithium ion batteries are around $200. So that is basically, it's like you're getting that second battery for free. So that is really, 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 really awesome. Now, I'm going to take this home. My car Jack's going to do a whole unboxing, and we're going to check it all out and everything. But I just kind of wanted to show, um, you know, the shop here and everything. It's really, really cool. We save good people from bad vacuums. And, you know, obviously very big on uh, American built. And he does push the simplicity. So as you can see in here, out of all these vacuums he sells, there's only one or two simplicities that needed repaired, you know, out of all of these. This is very similar to the one that I had at home uh, for several years, you know, other than the fact that it's blue. I think actually this one right here is the other one. So again, I did talk to him about it and basically he said, look, it's pretty far gone. You just used it very excessively over the last 15 years or so and it's, it's done. And I'm perfectly happy with what we got out of it. Very excited about this. So what we're going to do here is I will put links in the description and everything um, for this place. And again, you can see these are all the ones that are done up here that people are going to you know, come and pick up. Again, a lot of Dysons, <laughs> just, just saying. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this home get it all going. Jack's going to unpack it because he loves doing the unboxing and we're going to check it out and see how everything works. So we'll see you guys in a minute. All right. Jack loves opening the boxes. So he's checking the whole scene out here. So again, this is the P65. This is the S65P. The reason it's a premium is it does come with a few more attachments in addition to two complete batteries. Uh, like I said, these batteries are close to $200 a piece. So he gave me this for a little bit less than 500. This is the attachment area. Yeah, look at that. For about 130 hours more. Round attachment? Yeah. For about 130 more than the one that only comes with one battery and less attachments. This is the so round attachment? Yeah, so that is, let me see that one. That's pretty neat. This is like the floor attachment thing. Yes, that's for hard floor. That's nice. And we did tile all the hallways and everything in this house, so that's going to be really nice to do the hallways. The super, super, wand. super cool. Oh, super wand. cool. That's the wand. Yeah. I like the idea of being able to do like the baseboards with the wand because, you know, I'm weird, weird about the baseboards, right? And this, is the, this is the main center piece. It's the canister. Uh, it's the canister right there. That's the, that's the carp, uh, no, that's the, uh, is that the carpet attachment? Uh, that's just the canister thing. Well, that's the canister thing. Well, what's this one here? That's the carpet, yeah, that's the carpet. That's the... This is the Walmart, I believe. Well, that's the Walmart mount. What? Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to mount this all in the laundry room, where it'll kind of be positioned. Oh, yeah. This is the attachment, I think, to do carpets okay. this is this is a cool cool attachment it's also so, like this is like doing steps and stuff now this is the one that you can put on here to do um the baseboards which i really like the, the, uh, bad, there's the, the battery battery that you get. oh it's pretty light i expected it to be heavier yeah. we're not sure if they come charged what we're going to do is we're going to get this kind of all together and set it up for carpeting, and we're gonna see if uh, if the battery's charged or not. And then while, if it is, Jack's gonna start vacuuming this in here. Is right here. That's the like pet the attachment. Yeah. That's the pet attachment, I think, for specifically for pet the hair. And then you just yep, on the couch. you can use that for couches and stuff. I'm really excited about this. Yeah, really, really cool, man. Where's the other battery? The other battery, uh, I, it came on the wall mount. Oh, it's on the yeah. mount already? Oh, cool. So that's where they charge. So you can have one charging in the mount. Oh, cool. Well, you're gonna kinda, we're gonna get this together. I'm gonna go look at where I'm gonna mount it, and then you're going to um, see if this battery is, uh, is already charged. All right, so probably not a ton of life in this battery. 
initially, but this is a really cool tool. So the way that this works is if you go ahead and just put that right on there. So if you hook that up like that, it's got this really cool like corner crevice kind of tool. It's like this kind of a Velcro almost that's kind for, of stuff. That's for oh, like wood, I think. Yeah, like hard floor, get in corners and stuff. Now show us how it transforms. So you press this little button and just turn it, turn it around. Yeah, and then it pops and in there. Isn't that neat? It's got a quick release. And the cool part about that is so long. Show us how you could do the baseboards with that. How cool is that, man? Yeah, go up to the baseboard right there and just show us. I mean, you don't even have to bend over. How cool is that, man? So you get all the baseboards. So you're going to work on that for whatever energy that has left. Do the baseboards in this room while we go kind of take a look at hooking this up in the other room. And, uh, yeah, you get around the aquarium stands there and the baseboards. That's what I really like about these stick backs, man. It's just really being able to do that. Okay, so here's what we decided to do. That only lasted like a couple of minutes because obviously they don't come charged. We decided not to mount this on the wall. They basically give you the option. You could put it on a stand. We have a little table in our laundry room here. And of course, we like our little, you know, little ladybug tray. So we just kind of put it on here and just plug it in like that. Um, it does have a little bottom mount thing that you can like, you know, put on the bottom and you can hang it on the wall. We just don't want to if we don't have to since we got this little table here. It's kind of nice. So basically how this goes is all the attachments go on there. These two do not because they're larger, obviously. We're just going to set it next to them. We have like little dusting things here and just cleaning stuff. This is the floor attachment. This is for a carpet attachment. This is the kind of for um, what the furniture and stuff, right? It's got the little paw print on it. It's like to get pet hair off and stuff. It's specially made for pet hair. Yeah, for like sofas and chairs. Yeah, this is the stick attachment. Obviously, we have the brush on there and the corner cleaner. This is another cleaner here. Kind of works for like steps and stuff like that. This is pretty cool. It's like a corner attachment. So that's that's pretty neat. And all those things can go on the edge of that. So if you got to get like in a hard to reach area or something like that. So that's really cool. Now, this did run for a couple of minutes and Jack did a couple of baseboards and stuff. But then the battery died. So they do not come charged. You said that the uh, manual said it takes four to five hours, right? Yeah. So you plug them in, it takes four to five hours. Now they do charge at the same time. This one goes in here. And as you can see, this one is charging. Now it's red, it'll turn blue. It's set in about four or five hours. We're gonna check back every hour or so just to kind of see how long it really takes. Go ahead and pop that off just so um, we can see what happens. So when you take that off, you notice that that obviously turns off, but this one turns on. This is the indicator for the battery that's down here. Now, according to the manual, they are charging at the same exact time. It's just that this doesn't go on unless you take that one off. So that's kind of neat. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just kind of show you how this comes apart a little bit. Go ahead and bring it over here. We set up a little paper towel station here. So we did get quite a bit of dust um, already, just uh, hair and dust. Of course, good old uh, George Costanza, he's shedding a lot. You know, he's always shedding and whatnot. So uh, some of his hair and stuff in there, just doing some baseboards. Now, first thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and untwist that whole thing. <clears throat> See how the arrows, there you go, line up the arrows, take that off. Now that's gonna be your canister. Now, that's one way that you can obviously empty it, right? And then there's like a pre-filter situation. Same thing, turn it. And then the top is gonna basically pop it right off. Isn't that cool? So that's your actual like HEPA filter in there, right? That's pretty cool. Yeah. So go ahead and put that back together and then we're gonna show you how to do the quick release. If you don't wanna take it apart, uh, if you don't wanna take this canister off, it actually has a quick release on it. So that pops right back on, that goes up and it goes the other way. Yep, there you go. Yeah, just two little arrows. You line it up and you turn it. Okay. All right. And same thing with this. Got the little arrows. You line up the arrows. And then you put it back on. And it does tell you maximum. So you don't want it if you fill it up to here with like dirt. Now, if you hold it up above the towel here, and just go ahead and push that button... That little door is just going to open, a little trap door there, right? So you don't have to turn anything on, empty it out, flop that back up, and you're ready for, you're back in business. So look at that, just a couple minutes. Got some of George, George's hair there, right? I'm going to blame George. None of that's mine at all, right? <laughs> all right, so throw that back on the stand. We'll be back in four or five hours. We're going to see how it works. 
We're gonna really kind of put this thing to the test. We're gonna see if it really lasts as long as it says it does. And uh, we're gonna time it and we're gonna say, hey, can we, can we kind of get this done? The exciting part about this is we do have a, a ranch. So our house is very spread out, right? Yeah. And it's annoying. Jack has always said to me, it's so annoying because you have to plug in, plug, you know, plug it in another room, plug it in another room and all that because the cord doesn't last and stuff like that. We're hoping that having battery powered like this, you know, does. Now, again, the gentleman at the shop said this really isn't an awesome, awesome vacuum as far as really cleaning carpet. You know, it just doesn't have the power that a bigger vacuum has. Now, they do make a bagged, stand upright, battery powered vacuum. And it does use a much larger kind of uh, battery, and it does last about 30 minutes. It is $600 on their website. He said that we could get it for around $500 from him. If we feel that this is not doing a good enough job cleaning the carpets and everything like that, we could get one of those. And again, it's just a stand-up vacuum, big, huge, long bag that works as a filter, right? So if we decide, you know, I, I like the idea of this, like cleaning the blinds, cleaning the corners, cleaning the floors, all that. If it ends up that it's just not enough, we'll kind of revisit that in a few months. And we might get that big, huge battery powered one that's an actual vacuum. We will put a link in the uh, description that kind of shows that and everything. So anyway, it's just going to sit right here. I'm just going to kind of put this away. Probably not going to use it or anything. And we'll be back in a few hours. Okay, so I was doing a bunch of other stuff, cooking and stuff like that. You came in here and you checked it. At, we, so we did that at 2 o'clock. We hooked it up. You checked it at 3 o'clock, still red. Checked it at 4 o'clock, still red. Checked it at 5 o'clock, it's blue, right? She came and got me and said, hey, check it out. Now it's blue. We don't know if it took three hours or maybe it took like two and a half, right? Because we don't know in between or two hours and 10 minutes right after you walked away. But considerably speaking, conservatively speaking, we're going to say, even if it took three hours, it says four to five in the manual. That's pretty impressive. Now, it could be because they're new. It's not bad. Yeah. Now, one of the things you notice, pick this up here and show the battery that's in the stand. The backup battery is still showing red, however. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started with this. One of the things you want to do is you want to take this big stick part and you want to do all the baseboards in the whole house, right? Yes. So 25 to 30 minutes is how long this is supposed to last one battery. I'm gonna set a timer. I do have a timer right here. When you start, I'm gonna hit this. Okay, I'm gonna hit this like stopwatch on my old phone. It's my, oh, whoops, good thing I got a case on that, right? So anyway, I'm gonna hit that timer and you're gonna to try to go around. Now, now, our house is about 2,700 square feet. We do have kind of a large spread out kind of ranch house, right? It's kind of like an alien So device. a lot of baseboards, what'd you say? It's just kind of like an alien device. Yeah, it's pretty neat. So you're gonna go around, you're gonna kinda of get all the baseboards. Let's go in here, we're gonna start in here. You're gonna do all the hallways, you're gonna do all the rooms, you're gonna do all the baseboards everywhere. And then we're gonna see where we're at time-wise, we're gonna see how much we have left. If there's time left, we're gonna throw on one of these guys and go further, and then we're gonna see what's going on with that battery. Okay, so basically what you're gonna do, like on these baseboards, you're gonna hit the top of the baseboard, and then you're gonna hit the corner, and you're gonna do the same thing in the carpeted rooms, you're gonna hit the top. So like over here, you're gonna hit the top and then you're gonna get down in there in that crack real good, kind of rub that in there. Now, you're gonna start here, you're gonna go around the whole entire house, every room. We're gonna see how far you get. I'm gonna hit this, turn it on, and I'm gonna hit this at the same time. Ready? Yep. <laughs> All right, he's gonna go behind the door first. You hit it, I'm gonna hit start. Three, two, one. go. All right, you're gonna do low mode or you're gonna do high mode? I think I'm gonna do low mode because it doesn't. If it works, but yeah. the carpet you're probably gonna have to do high. Yeah. So All right, you get started, man. And we'll see you and see what happens here with this timing. Right. Yeah, make sure you get the tracks to the sliding doors too. Great idea, man. Yep, get behind the pond and everything real good. That's awesome to reach back behind there, right? Okay, we learned a little bit more about this charging that the manual does not talk about, right? Yeah. So you went. Uh, did all the baseboards, almost reached the end, and you noticed that the little blue button started flashing red, right? Yeah, it, it was like beep, 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 and it didn't make any noise, but it started flashing red, which is which is about starting to get lower. Right, so you figured, I'm running out of time, I'm going to try to fish up. Yeah. And one of the things you said that we were talking about, you were like, you don't realize how long you're vacuuming because you're working, you're Just focusing doing, on yeah. doing it right. 
And then you're like, oh wow, it's been 20, 25 minutes already probably. And so you hurried up, then it turned off and it turned red. And then you came in here and then you swapped it out. You noticed that this one was still red. You put it into, you took the one out of the uh, vacuum. You put it down here, you took the one out of here and put it up here. And then you noticed it was red up here. Then you came and told me and you said, hey, and I was cooking and you said, hey, I'm all done. I swapped the two batteries, I put it back in. And then of course we ate and then we started doing some other things. But I hit the timer after you came and talked to me, but it was about mm, probably a minute or two by the time you plugged it in and came to get me and all that kind of stuff. So probably lasted around 23 to 24 minutes. And you were running it on a, a medium or low part of the time. It doesn't have a medium, it's low or high. You were running on a low part of the time because you're like, hey, just doing the baseboards, not a huge deal, right? Yeah. And it was sucking them up. Now, when you went to the carpeted rooms and did the baseboard, you put it on high. So you were on low, maybe what, a third of the time, a fourth of the time, mostly on high. Yeah. Probably. Okay. Now, this is one of the things we noticed, guys. When we came in here, we noticed that this was not lit and that this was red. We think that that battery was not fully charged because it was blue when we got it. It was not off. Here's one of the things we noticed. Go ahead and do what you showed me. So kind of take it off the dock and then put it back on. Okay, put it back on. Now this is what we noticed because we were kind of messing around with this. See how this is blue right now? It was blue when we went. We watch here how it gives it to us. Yeah. Well, this power goes to there since this one's already full. Right. So we didn't, goes to that one. Yeah, we didn't know this because they didn't say anything about it. No, and they should have, but it's more of a backup thing. Right. So what it does here is it charges the one that's in the vacuum first, and you'll notice that this will start to blink. And once it starts to blink, then this one turns red and this one turns off because it does not charge them both at the same time. Even though the manual kind of leads on to sound that it does, right? It does, it says you won't notice what's charging. Now it may be charging a little bit, but I think mostly the charge goes to this. Now you can plug it directly into here, but that will only charge the vacuum. But we have it plugged into here. So basically what happens, and it's probably not gonna do it now because we're talking about it, but basically what happened after we let it sit for a minute is this started flashing and then it turned off. So basically the charge stopped charging to here and went over to this battery that's down here and this one turned red. Oh, there it goes. See how it flashes? Now, after it flashed a few times, it goes over to here. So basically what it does is it charges the one in the vacuum first. After that is fully charged, then, oh, see that? It goes over to this one. And I would assume that this one would then turn blue when it is done. But we probably didn't get, we probably would have gotten more time out of this, even at full maximum power, 25 or 30 minutes being as brand new instead of like 23 and you were working partially on a low setting. So we're gonna test this one now because we know it's absolutely charged. We're gonna see if we get more like 25 or 30 minutes on a full charge. And here's uh, what you're gonna do. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna do your bedroom, right? So you're gonna use this guy right here. And this is cool. This is one of these swivel type of guys. I mean, this is you know super awesome, flexible stuff. So he's gonna pop that on there. You're gonna put that on the pole and then you're gonna unplug, you're gonna go do your bedroom and you're gonna do our bedroom. And then you really wanna do like all the hallways, right? All the tile. So that's gonna be this one over here. And they're pretty easy to plug in, right? Mm -hmm. Easy to figure out. You plug just them in. It just clicks, yeah. Yeah, and to release it, you right. hit the button, super easy. So let's empty that first and see everything that you got from doing the baseboards though. Here, I'll hold this while you're doing that. Put that over, I put a little Tupperware container, a little takeaway container. Yeah, a lot of stuff in there, huh? <laughs> wow, dude, just doing the baseboards. Look at that big clump of no nonsense right there. Yeah, isn't that awesome? It's probably mostly George Costanza's hair right there is what I'm gonna guess. <laughs> But yeah, we'll it's, 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 that's it's, just 20, 25 minutes of going around and doing the baseboards. It's all George's fault. Yeah, it's totally George's fault. We'll just blame George. Yes. But, but isn't that something? So you pop that back on there. 
So I'm interested to see, so we're gonna try the carpet one first and I'll come in and check on you, see how you're doing. So go ahead and start on your room. I am going to start this timer here in a minute and we're gonna see if we can get a little more life now that we kind of figure this whole thing out, dude. I'm gonna zero this out. Set this in my room against my door because I have to go to the bathroom. All right, Jack gets a bathroom break first and then I'll hit this, we'll, we'll meet in his room. All right, so we're in Jack's room. I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer while he turns it on and you're gonna do this room and then you're gonna kinda of go on. Look at this, look at this potos on this tank, man. We gotta, we gotta trim that. <laughs> it grew so fast. And it, it does. Well, in the winter time, the sun comes down lower. We're gonna do a whole video on that. But anyway, he's gonna do his room, he's gonna do our room. And then what he's gonna do is, uh, well here, I'm gonna hit the timer. And then you're gonna put, it's pretty quiet, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty quiet. And it, it's, it's not it's a little vacuum. You can see it leaves, it leaves tread. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. I like that it has the lights too, huh? Yeah, that's cool. It's dark. In fact, turn off the light. Turn off the light to see how fancy it is. The fish oh, tank lights are still. All right, dude. All right, do your room in our room and then come down over there and tell me and I'll stop the timer and then we'll put the soft attachment on. Because like with the big vacuum, yeah, that is pretty nice. You can get way under there. And then what we'll do is we'll go hit all this tile with the soft attachment. Oh, he's got it on high. Yeah, do it on high. I want to see how that battery lasts while it's on high. Get all the way around everything and all that, man. All right, I'm just kind of checking some of these out while he's finishing up. I really do like these attachments. I think they're very nice. I think it's awesome. This one does not have lights on it, the one that does the floor. Um, I think they're assuming that in the hallway you have lights. I do really like how these swivel, and I'm pretty impressed with um, with these tires and wheels. So it did start to blink red. It did start to blink red a little bit? It did blink red, okay. but we did get pretty far. Yeah, what, what's the time? but it's not off yet. It's not dead yet. No, it's not dead yet. Okay. Well, why don't you point. empty it, because that probably takes some power away too, so why don't you empty it? Here, I'll hold the wand. Unattach it there. Just because it's blink, it doesn't mean we don't have a little more time. No, yeah. We so let's just... empty that right on top of there again. Yeah, I mean, look at this thing. This thing is pretty intensely powerful. I'm cut. Don't worry, I'll clean it up. Yeah, look at that. I mean, wow. Cotton can here. Yeah. So pop it back up. Is the living room done in there? Yeah. All right. Well, go ahead to the fish tank room. And honestly, that's pretty much mostly the whole house at that point. So go ahead and pop that on. Uh, I'm gonna stop this for a little bit because you didn't have to empty it in that there. So, I mean, I think running on high and running that and like, digging in, it's again, it's drawing more power when it's like, you know, digging into the carpet like that. So go ahead and hit the fish tank room in that. And uh, yeah, this room looks good, man. Looks good, dude. See what you can get done in the fish tank room here. You think I should, you think I should do the carpet in here? I think the carpet needs done. You know what, hit this room, because it's a bigger room. Hit this room here, and if we got a little left, we'll hit this carpet in the in the kitchen here, but go ahead and hit this room the best you can. You already did all the baseboards and everything in here, right? Yeah. All right, well, he's gonna hit this room. I'm gonna go start this timer back up. I'm trying to keep this as accurate as possible here. All right. All right, so you finish this room in here, pretty big room. Gonna hit this carpet in the kitchen a little bit here. We're looking at about 18 and a half minutes. This is a big room. Lots to do in here. Got underneath all these chairs, underneath the table, around all the fish tanks. What's that? It really gets the carpet, it's just all the crumbs you can hear. Yeah, you can hear them coming up there. Again, that old vacuum wasn't doing much for a while. Let me see that canister real quick. I mean, it's totally full again. Wow, see these all wieners. See all these crumbs here? Just yeah. Go away. Yeah, I'm impressed. If you got enough energy, go do the carpet in the, in the in-law suite. We got a carpet just like this in the kitchen in the back. There's an in-law suite the previous owner put in. I use as an office to have it. So go hit that carpet. And that's pretty much the whole house at that point, man. You know? Yeah. Uh, Pamela's room we didn't do. She's got stuff in there. She's reorganizing. So, you know, go ahead and... Uh, you're looking at 20 minutes and about something, so go ahead and hit the carpet in the back. This is doing good. This is being uh, reliable. Yeah, you like it? I mean, I think 45 to 50 minutes, you know, it's pretty good. 
What do you think? This room looks good. Got this room real good. Let's go hit this carpet back here. I'm gonna stop this for a minute here. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that's a lot. You said he got these bathrooms in here a little bit. Got all around the pond. All the floor in here. Hitting this, we're working on a project, so we got the tube out there, but. And then you want to do the beanbag chair with the pet attachment? Yeah, if you have energy. I mean, I hit the timer back on here, looking at close to 21 minutes. So if you got time, go ahead and pop the pet attachment on there. You could do your big beanbag chair or maybe the other one too. And I'll stop it again. Go ahead and pop that on and we'll see what this uh, we'll see what this takes us to. It's maybe we'll about half an hour. It's at 25 to 30 minutes, depending on, you know, if you use high or low. You're kind of going back and forth. I'm not using too much high. Like trying to go more low to yeah. get it get it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the floor probably uses, of course, less energy than, like, so going into the do, carpet. I'm uh, just going to use, I'm not going to use the wand at all. Okay. And just use the so you're just going to put it right on the end of this. Yep. Yeah, just set that over there for now. Put the little pet attachment I'm on. To use this. Yeah. Especially made for pets. Yeah, look at that. So this is like for the beanbag chair thing. We got these huge bean bags. You could probably do it and then you know flip it over, do the other side or whatever. And hit the timer again. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to flash red. Yeah, just do the whole thing. Go over it. Because the wieners like the beanbag chairs, don't you, George? They love the beanbag chairs, don't you? <laughs> he learned from Lacey. He used to never go on them, and Lacey goes up on this one. But we use this one as kind of a footstool, especially with Pamela's uh, surgery there and that. And um, then Jack uses this one. But she usually goes on this one. She's like the little queenie when she's here. She goes up on that one, and then George goes on this one because she don't. Sometimes she lets him on it if she's being nice, right? Well, it's still going, 21 and a half minutes. I mean, so far, I'm pretty impressed. I'm glad we figured out this whole charging situation because, like I said, they didn't really explain that. So hopefully it helps a lot of people if, if they're buying this, they want to, you know, decipher how that works. I love all the attachments. I love the fact that it's battery powered. I love the fact that you can just go from, like, room to room and, you know, you don't have to deal with the cords at all, you know. I mean, honestly, you could just go from room to room and knock it out. It would make it a lot faster, that's for sure. You feel like you're you're getting everything off of there? Yeah, I do. <laughs> That'd be good for the car, too, yeah. right? You could take that in the car. Yeah, I mean. Use that in the car. Perfect, yeah. You still got energy left? What's, what's uh, yeah. What, We're at 22 and a half minutes. You want to go do the front, front room? Why don't you put the carpet thing yeah. back on? Go do the front room a little bit. All right, we're going to empty first before we go do the rec room. Get one more in there. Wow. Unbelievable, man. Look at that. This thing's impressive. I mean, we had a powerful, you know, house vacuum. But again, it wasn't working real good last last few months. Can you take, can you take that little bit out of there? Yeah, what am I getting up in there? Getting up in there. And we'll we'll clean. Because the thing is, it's going to pack it. Yeah. Well, you, you could take that whole black thing out. We'll take the whole thing out. That whole black thing out and everything, and we'll shake it all out and everything. He said that's the biggest thing to a vacuum is when you use these kind of, is just clean them. Just clean them out. Put it in the utility sink and clean it out. And if you do that, it'll save a lot of energy and, and save the, the, mo the motor. But we're, again, this is the first time. All right, we'll meet you in the front room, dude. All right, we restarted a timer. Now, this is kind of like our work room off of our garage. And uh, it's like a Berber carpet. We got a rug in here. This is where the... The dogs stay most of the day. We got a little doggy gate to keep them over here in doggy jail when we leave, so they're you know not getting in trouble in the rest of the house. But uh, yeah, I mean, timer's still going. We're going on at 23 minutes. He's kind of turning it on high. <laughs> he was doing a little low on the Berber. There's not a lot on that kind of carpet. I mean, it's not very shaggy. But uh, yeah, I think we're gonna. We're gonna see how long this takes us. It doesn't, it doesn't like pick up. It's got 
just pushes it out of the way because it's so low. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if I would hit it anyway. But. <laughs> we got everything up here on the tables and stuff. But yeah, I mean, that pretty much concludes the whole entire house, really. We're going on 23 and a half minutes. We're trying to be consistent with this time, but overall, it seems as though it does stand up to what the manufacturer says it does. And, um, and it does a pretty darn good job, you know? So, <clears throat> yeah, brand new Christmas mat. Just get over there and under the desk and everything, and we'll see what happens here. All right, so it just died, totally died? Yeah. Got this whole room done. 25, about 25. So about the same, about the same. We did get about another minute or so. But you got to remember, too, when you're running these ends, it probably uses more energy. I would assume if we would have let that battery go all the way until it was blinking when we did the baseboards, probably would have had some energy left in it, don't you think? Probably, yeah. Yeah, see, we didn't understand that. So overall, what do you think? Do you like it? I do, yeah. It's, it's nice. It's light. Uh right to the ground just gets everything does a really good job i mean you basically did the whole house two batteries and like i said it's very the uh, nice thing about this is very maneuverable with most vacuums you just get yeah. stuck here you can go like all, you know, all the way through I mean, most it's of this, nice. what it's we nice found in these that. canisters wasn't necessarily visible, so that makes me think it was pulling it out really good. So I do feel like it's pretty powerful. I think it has good suction. I mean, I put my hand on it. It was powerful. I'm really looking forward to using it for, like, the cars and everything, being able to use it for the cars, being able to use it for the blinds. You know, we have a lot of blinds in this house. So overall, I... I to use it for the, the cars, yeah. Yeah, the cars, the blinds, the vents, you know. You can, like, put the... You could put the little, uh, what you call it on it, the little brush. You could do the vents like there. And then up here, like the intakes, put the, you know, brush on it and just get up there. Especially if you got the pull on it, you know, you could just reach right up there, clean the intakes and that. So we didn't do a lot of that. We just kind of did the floors. But overall, I'm pretty darn impressed with it. I think it's pretty fantastic. Um, so what we're going to do is you're just going to plug, you're going to plug it in. And then basically what should happen is within four or five hours, it should be charged. And then it'll go over to this backup one. And then they'll both be charged and ready to go for next time. So I think it's cool. Would you, <clears throat> would you say it's worth it? I, I think it's kind of worth it. I definitely think it's worth the money. Another, another empty on there. Wow, unbelievable. We'll clean that real good. And we showed how to take it apart already. Anyway, we'll put links and everything in the description. Definitely go see our dude over there, Force Vacuum. Um, totally awesome guy. If you live in the area, you you can also uh, <laughs> you can also just check out um, Simplicity Direct, right? Yeah. So, hey, check it all out. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye bye.